Hello guys. It's the Groovy. Let's do some pay dirt now. It's the Groovy Gold Butter. Yay, yay. Let's go. Okay, so it is May the 11th, Thursday. This is when I get back into the garage and start doing my panning again. So I can't even tell you the exact date that I started. I have to go back to my film footage to find out the first day I actually started doing this stuff. I have pretty much almost gone through all of it. That light is killing me. Yeah, I'm almost done with this stuff. If I had to guess, I'd say I'd had 10 gallons left to pan out. I panned some last week and I didn't really tape anything because I didn't get anything. You know, my idea was to actually, instead of just taping every single time I pan, you all know what I'm doing. I'm just panning and sluicing, panning and sluicing. But I was gonna say, well, you know what? Every time I get gold, I'll record that. I have not gotten any gold in a while like not even one little bitty piece so the more i'm doing this the less confidence i have in finding any more gold in this pay dirt not even being done with this i can almost guarantee that this dirt came bare with nothing in it i got 75 gallons worth of dirt 90 percent of my gold came out of the very first tub that i did there's no way that the gold just happened to be in one little area i think what they do with their con and i don't know this for sure when i do this kind of pay dirt i try to kind of get an idea of how they do their pay dirt and with this pay dirt i think the non-concentrate doesn't have anything to do with the fact that oh yeah we just shovel it throw it in the yard and we don't even look at it they look at it i think that they purposely put an x amount in a pile of dirt that has absolutely no gold in it. If it was sporadic throughout the entire 75 gallons, I'd be like, you know what, okay. That's my theory on this pay dirt so far. This is what I've got left. I've taken it out of those big tubs. I've got that much left, that's a five gallon bucket. And then that right there, it's actually, I probably have less than 10 gallons. I would say that's eight, seven gallons because that's not a whole lot. Maybe three gallons there and about four gallons there. So we'll say about seven gallons left. I think I got one piece out of this last bin so far. Pretty much the second to the last one that I did about one or two pieces as well. That is all of the quartz that I've picked out that I'm going to crush up and see if there's any gold in that that's what my next plan is and that's going to be a booger to do because i mean i've got quartz here i've got quartz there drying out i've got all of this stuff that i've gotten out of here i don't know what kind of rock that is but it does have a little bit of quartz in it in certain areas I i'm guessing it's just regular rock i see like small veins of quartz in it as well but then i've got some really nice clear quartz right there some satellite a lot of pyrite you can see in there and then i got this kind of stuff that is i don't think it's pyrite it's a lot darker it's almost got a brass to a goldish color I'm not sure on that even got some tiger's eye this is really cool let me put it in water that tiger's eye that gives you that really shiny glare or whatever you want to call it i like that stuff so there are some you know cool gemstones and minerals in there as well not a whole lot but some so yeah i found all that stuff in there as well so that's kind of a bonus i'm just now starting to pan my minus 20 stuff you know i've been doing one gallon at a time and sometimes i'll do two gallons at a time just hadn't had any luck in the past i'd say 15 gallons at least maybe 20 i haven't gotten any gold so i'm just going to keep doing it and if i do come across some i'll show it let's get to it i was going to go ahead and do the minus 20 concentrates that i got out of that sluice box i'm going to go ahead and pan that i'm not expecting anything but i figured since i haven't done a whole lot of panning on this video in a while because i've been panning so much i'm going to go ahead and do this last bit here this is the tailings of what i just sluiced and i would say it was a good three quarters of a gallon of just minus 20 material let's see what we got i'm obviously not expecting to find an ounce of gold in this stuff but to buy unconcentrated pay dirt from a vendor you would expect or from a you know gold mining company you would expect to get more than you would in a concentrated bag but it doesn't look like that's going to happen let's see what we got <laughs> And as I predicted, 
nothing, not a single piece. Yeah, that's just the way it's been going for the past 20 gallons, probably more than that. All right, guys, it is now Friday, May the 12th, and still not done. So I'll just show you where I'm at now. I think I had eight gallons yesterday left over. It's kind of hard to tell, but that bucket was close to being full. We'll call it five gallons. I went ahead and dumped everything in this cement mixing tub right here. So that's all I've got left. And it's pretty wet. So I'm trying to, I've actually turned my radiator heater on to warm up this gallon bucket because it's taken me forever to classify this stuff. And I'm just trying to get it done and over with. I've already got this classified out. I'm going to start panning this, but again, nothing. I mean, I haven't gotten a single piece of gold. When you're panning out this much material and time and time and time again, you're getting nothing, very frustrating. That's all I've gotten. And I know you can't really tell on camera, maybe two grams. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep at it and hope that there's a couple pieces of gold still in there. Hopefully I can not just keep showing you a picture of me or a video of me babbling about me still doing this stuff. Hopefully there'll actually be some gold and I can show it to you. Okay, so I just got done with another gallon. I just sluiced the minus 20 stuff, and I think, not positive, but I think that I saw a piece of gold. So I'm gonna pan it and see what happens. I gotta get it out of the sluice map first, and then we'll see if I finally get some gold. It's been a while, so I'm hoping for one piece. So let's pan it, see what happens. I hope it wasn't a piece of mic. That's gonna make me so mad, because it really did look like gold. Come on, baby, give me one piece. It's been so long. Like pulling teeth with all this stuff. All right. Let's get the final bunch. <laughs> I don't think I got any. God, you gotta be kidding me. Even when I think there's gold, there's no gold. All right, let's tap it back. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, that is so frustrating. Not cool. I can't wait till this is done with because it's really no fun panning and sluicing when you get nothing. Bucket after bucket after bucket after bucket of just nothing. It gets frustrating. All right, folks, welcome back. And it is now Saturday, May the 13th, I believe. I'm getting down to the very end of all of this pay dirt. I did two gallons this time. And after that, this is all I've got left. About three quarters of a bucket and about three quarters of a bucket. That is it. Now the bad news is I have still not received one single piece of gold. And I'm going to say 30 gallons that I've panned. Maybe one piece in 30 gallons. I can't. It's been so long. I do not remember the last piece of gold that I've gotten. Speaking of gold, this is about the only gold that I've been getting in the past couple weeks. Tic-tac gold, baby. It's not gold. But it's delicious. Mmm. Tic Tac Gold. Mm hmm This is May the something. It's Monday, May the what what is May 15th, maybe? 16th? I, I don't know. And I am finally down to my last batch of the pay dirt for chrism gold i just panned out the rest of that that's my quarter inch that's all the quarter inch i have left i'm letting that dry out that's my eighth inch stuff got my plus 10 plus 20 minus 20 minus 40. so i actually broke it down as much as i could this time because this is the last bit of it so that's about two gallons total let's get the panning last time <laughs> See what I mean? It's been like this for the past two weeks. I have panned and picked and panned and picked and classified for nothing, no gold. So the rest of this will be easy. You saw the process that I have been doing. This is all the 
quartz that I picked out of all that, but it takes forever because you're trying to find pieces that you think could have gold and then you see pieces that probably don't, but then you're like, well, maybe I should pull it out anyway. You never know. It's the last batch of the plus 10 material that I have. Still no go. This is what I've got left and I think I'm just going to sluice the rest of this and then do it that route because I'm ready to be done with this stuff. I'm going to go ahead and put some water in each one of these and then I'll just sluice the rest of it so I can get done with this. I need gold. It's not enough gold. I really don't think I got a lot of gold in this. I could be wrong but I don't think I got a lot of gold. This is the minus 40 stuff, and I do not expect to see any gold in this whatsoever because I've never seen very small gold from Chrisom Gold Mine. It's always been flakes, and it's always been between 20 and 40 mesh. Nothing under 40 mesh. Yeah, no go. So that does it for the plus 40 minus 20. So this is what I have left of that after sluicing it. Pan down. Let you see what I got left. This is it as far as the minus 20 plus 40 stuff and just for the heck of it i panned out all of my tailings just to make sure there wasn't anything in those as well and there wasn't well what do you know no gold this is all i got left this is it this is my plus 20 stuff so here we go the last bit right here oh, not a single piece of weight no, that's not gold. That's that's that. <laughs> One itty bitty piece right there is pyrite or some whatever pyrite or that copper stuff. I don't know what it is. It's not gold because it's black and it's silvery. But uh, that was it. God, that's a really bad way to end all this. To not get any more gold than that. That's that's all of it. I am finally done with every bit of that pay dirt and man that's that's a lot of pay dirt it's not easy to do as far as patience is concerned so i'm going to dump the gold in the pan and i'm going to show you that first and i'll go ahead and weigh it i'm going to keep that separate than what i find if i find anything in that crushed quartz because that's my next job and that's really going to be a pain to do because that's going to take this and a whole lot of ugh, i dread it because it's, it's going to be a pain in the butt all right guys so this is the final batch of gold that i've gotten out of that 75 gallons man it just does not look like a whole lot does it Whew. okay guys <laughs> man that didn't take long did it you saw the gold i'll show it to you again we're going to weigh it there's three big pieces of gold in there super flat but pretty decent looking size so let's do that first and then we'll add them all up together there's my little doohickey tearing it out so I'm just going to pull one of these out at a time with my tweezers and try not to break anything or drop anything because I'm using one hand. Pick this one up first. See, two tenths. We'll add the second one. There's a half a gram right there. And then the final big piece. So wow, those three pieces alone are only eight tenths of a gram and that's all I've got left. So this is going to be very disappointing. Let's just dump it all in there and see what we got. 1.89 grams of gold that's it golly i was so hoping for more than 1.89 so let me get on the gold calculator and we'll see what the value of it is 1.892 gold prices have dropped it used to be well over 2000 now it's 1977 so boo to that we'll calculate 120.30 so that's the amount, $120.30. So we'll go over here and we'll check out return on investment we get. So $120, we paid $190. It was $175 plus tax and all that. It was $190 out the door. So we'll calculate and 63%. So that's not bad, but for the amount of pay that you get and the amount of dirt that you sluice, Plus, with all of the quartz, it's not enough. 
So now we're at the part where I need to crush all this rock. I've already started on doing that. This is how much I've already started to crush or I have crushed and I still got that much to go. So I have three different methods of crushing this. First method is the coffee grinder. Now that coffee grinder is pretty worn down but it's fairly new. I've only used it today. This is the coffee grinder that I've already used and you can see what it did to the blade. So I can get maybe about five or six handfuls of rock to crush it up before it just rips the blade to pieces. So I know there's going to be shards of metal in there because of those blades breaking apart. Uh, obviously it was meant for coffee but it actually works well for for quartz it just doesn't last very long so the other method is just the simple rock hammer or just a heavy hammer and a little metal pan that i've been sticking the rock in i have to cover it because if i smash the rock it'll splatter into a million pieces all over the place so i have to cover it up try to contain it into that little pan but there's the third method the actual method that people normally do that rock crusher is working but I can only put like maybe that much in at a time if that because if I put too much in there it won't crush all the rock this is a lot of quartz that I still have yet to even crush down this was about a total of two days maybe three days I've been doing this when I get off work for about an hour each day I've done it two days straight I'm going to try to do this as much as I can I don't know how long it's going to take me to get through this entire bucket or bin of quartz man I hope there's some gold somewhere in all that if i've already pinched myself i hit myself with the hammer right there in my hand as you can see i was actually holding this bar and i took the hammer that big hammer and started hitting it to help crush some of that quartz in that thing and i got a little piece of my skin so ouch but then after i crush it i'll throw it in here and classify it through and anything that gets through i'll leave it and anything that's bigger than the uh, mesh i'll put it back in the quartz crusher and i'll just recrush it this is my only method of doing this and i'm trying to just kind of go back and forth and do different things at different times that way i'm not repeating the same thing over and over because it does get tiring and it does get repetitive so i'm trying to mix it up so i can get through this as fast as i can so anyway yeah let's get started on this So one important thing I forgot to mention, this is huge. So anytime you crush quartz, especially when it starts to smoke like that, that's just that quartz smokes very fine material. Do not inhale that. If you got a mask, use it. I've been using this mask. I got N95 mask. I also got my respirator. It's hard to do this one because I got glasses, but highly recommend you use these when you're doing that, getting all that dust because you don't want to breathe. You don't want to breathe that dust in. Safety tip of the day, wear a mask. No, it's so hard on the hands. But I mean, this is the process. Just this little stupid thing right here, 79 bucks. Ridiculous amount of money for such a simple tool. And it, when I got it, I was expecting it to be huge. Not huge. It's this big. Very small. This is my process. It's just crush, classify, crush, classify, crush, classify. Watch this. This is why you need a mask. 
Oh. <laughs> it's so hard to do. This top, once you do so much, it, the quartz, I'm guessing, gets stuck in the grooves that holds the top down, and it's impossible to get this top off. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, so much for that. Finally got the top off, but yeah. Watch this. Poof. When the dust settles. That's my process. And I'm just gonna keep doing this until every single bit of it's done. Then, once I'm done, I'll start panning that stuff out and I'll see if I can get any more gold. Stay tuned, it gets exhausting. So I'm going to take a break because this is killing my arm. Now look how much I got. It's about half full now. I'm getting there. That's what I still have left. So I came back. It's still Friday night. It's the 19th of May. I think it's the 19th. And I'm still working on <laughs> this quartz. What I've crushed, what I've got left to crush. I think by the time I get done with this, this should be almost full, if not full. I'm done. I'm done busting every single piece of quartz. It's late Saturday night. It's about 12 o'clock. But anyway, I'm done with it. I'm going to show you the results of what I've crushed. I, I crushed all of it. The only thing that I did not crush is stuff that I absolutely knew was nothing more than like pebbles, rocks. I'm not sure where gold comes from when it comes to certain types of quartz rock. I know that I've always seen gold in white quartz. So is it in this brown stuff that's been chopped up? Is it in the other type? I don't know. But that is one full gallon of crushed quartz rock right there. And it has been, I crushed it down to minus 10. I just could not get it down more than that because it was hard enough to get it down to this. This is the other stuff. It's that grayish slate looking material. And again, it had some quartz in it, but I don't know if gold is in that or not don't know anything about this stuff so i don't even know what it's what kind of rock that is but it's done my hands hurt my arms hurt my knees hurt for some reason and i i guess because i kept bending down i couldn't crush it on this table because i needed a solid surface now it's time to get to panning it when i was busting up this quartz it was flying all over the floor so i swept my floor up even got that just in case so i'm 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 eliminating all possibilities that there is any lost gold anywhere from what i've done i don't know how i'm going to get this video out to you guys it might be a five-parter because i looked at how many clips i've done just on this and i think i'm up to 128 clips i am out of jet dry wow last pan last bit of jet dry last tub of water that's the gray stuff that i crushed i really don't think i'm going to find anything in there let's go ahead and do the bigger stuff because i don't think i'm going to get anything out of this stuff at all so i'm going to pan this see what we got out of this let's do it pretty lightly so yeah i didn't even need to pan it back because there was nothing in there yep nothing all right got that out of the way here's some more gross stuff this is more stuff that i swept off the floor so it's a mixture of all kinds of quartz paint dirt the gross i'm going to make sure that the area that i've been panning sluicing and breaking rocks up in i didn't lose a piece of gold at some point in time pan it back yeah, no gold in that. All right, just wanted to make sure. Now for the big stuff. I'm not going to film the whole thing. It's pointless because look how much that is. That is nothing but a solid gallon of this material. I'm not going to sluice it. I'm just going to pan all of it. All right, so just like I thought I would, I'm going to sluice it. So I've already wet it. I've dumped it a few times, try to get some of that murky stuff out. I'm just going to throw it in that sluice box right there. Time lapse time. <laughs> I 
Sand out all the tailings first. There was no gold in it. Kind of wish there was, just so I could say there was some gold, but this is the tailings. So I'm gonna go ahead and at least pan this for you and let you see that. Try to get a little bit off of this. Gonna be really careful. Even if I find a little bit of gold, I'm not gonna be like, oh, this sucks. I'll be like, okay, well, at least I found some gold. But to find no gold, that'll be heartbreaking. So I'm gonna tap it, and then we're gonna pan it back. Yeah, no gold. So no gold in that batch, but I did find whatever this is, and it looks like pyrite. I don't know if you can see that on my tip of my finger. All right, guys, it is Sunday. It is the 21st. This is the official ending of this Chrisom gold mining pay dirt crap that i did and man all that right there is what i sluiced out that's the tailings and that's what i repan i have not found one single piece of gold but yeah i crushed this stuff up for four straight days and i'm getting close to the end so i'm just gonna tap 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 not a single piece of gold last one Pan it back one last time. So this is nothing but all of the metal that I've torn up and a piece of plastic as well from the copy grinders. What a waste out of all of that quartz, not one piece. So yeah, we're done. I bought 75 gallons from Chris and Go Mine, unconcentrated, three 30 gallon tubs that I took to Chris and filled up completely after what two months of sluicing and panning and classifying and blah 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 i come out with this much gold now i've already measured this because I, what i was hoping was i would add on to this and then we'd get a grand total after i did all of that quartz not a single flake of gold in any of that quartz so on that note we will end this super long video i have no idea how long this video is even going to be because i haven't even started editing it so yeah as far as the goat itself i'm disappointed i'm not going to lie I, I, I thought if i got somewhere in that two to two and a half gram range more of the two and a half gram range i'd have been okay with it and i'd have been happy uh, but what disappointed me even more was there's not any gold in the quartz. Now, the next question is, Heath, will you do it again? Short answer is, yeah, probably. Uh, but not anytime soon. That, that took a long time. It took a lot of space. It took a lot of water. It took a lot of, just took a lot. Man, it, it was not easy to do. If I had a high banker and I was outside, yeah, it would have been easier. If you've never done it before and you've got the resources to do it, I would say try it. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did. This is the first time I've ever done it. But I was expecting more. I definitely was expecting a lot more than what I got. Disappointed in that. But overall, you know, it's an experience. I'll say that. And uh, if you like panning and you like doing that stuff, then it's, you know, it's definitely something you'd like to try. <sighs> I don't know what I say except we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you stuck it out through this entirety of this video, of these multiple videos. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. It helps my channel so much and I need more subscribers because I, that's just the thing to say. I'm happy with what I got. But if anybody else wants to subscribe, that would be a bonus. So thank you for subscribing. If you have not, please do. All right, guys, I will leave you all alone. Thank you again for watching my channel. I appreciate it more than you'll ever know. Peace and love, and I will see you soon. Bye.